Hi guys, welcome to the C Sharp interview question series. In the previous video, we saw what are different types of inheritance, why do we need inheritance, and some interview related questions with respect to inheritance. If you have not watched that video, I will highly encourage you to do that. Talking about the next uh, pillar in the object oriented programming, that is polymorphism. So polymorphism is a Greek word whose meaning is one name and many forms. So which gives you a provision in the C sharp to write a method with the same name that will function differently. You're talking about the types of polymorphism. There are two types of polymorphism, static polymorphism and method overloading and dynamic polymorphism also known as method overriding. So, so what are different benefits of polymorphism? First benefit is code reusability. That is, classes once written, tested, and implemented can be reused as required. Also, it saves you time in re rewriting the code that is easy to debug. Also, single variable can be used to store multiple data types. So, let's flip to the Visual Studio. So, for demonstration, let me create a class CLS tap tap. Let me give the name as student. Let me write a method public void get admission. CW get all admission. Let me write another function with the same name. Let me copy and paste it. So I'm talking about the method overloading. So in case of method overloading, your method name can be same, but it must vary with the number or the type of parameters. So let me write int say student ID get get admission for student. Get admission based on student ID. So when I instantiate this class in the main method student s equal to new student, when I call the method s dot get admission, as soon as I open the braces, you can see here, it gives me two method name. Either you want to call this method or even you can call second method which is taking one parameter. So this is method overloading. At the compile time itself, you can determine what method to call. Hence, it is called as method uh, overloading and the compiled uh, polymorphism. Let me give you a run to this uh, application. And here we go. As you call the first method get admission, it is calling the all admission. If I call s dot, if I call another method s dot get admission and say 100 now if I call it get all admission and get admission based on student ID overloading deals with the same class only one thing to keep in your mind is that the method name should vary with the number or the type of parameter and the return type now now talking about the method overriding so method overriding is also called as runtime polymorphism in case of method overriding so let me just create a method public virtual void so get all admission and CW this is parent class method and let me simply inherit another class say IT student As I'm stating virtual keyword here, which, which tells the CLR that this method should be redefined by the child class. So you can use override keyword and press space and here you can see what all method you can override. Simply press tap tap. So by this way, it will give you the skeleton of your over uh, the method that you can override. So let me just write a method inside the child class this age child class method let's instantiate the class at the uh, client level so at the client level when you initialize 
student s equal to new student this is the place where interviewer tweak the question interviewer can ask you s dot get all admission what will be the output student s1 equal to new it student as this is the parent class you can initialize the child class and reference it to the parent one s1 dot get all admissions what will be the out in this scenario and what about it student i equal to new it student i dot get all admission as we have overridden this method so always when you create instance of child class only the child class method will be called so in this scenario student s equal to new student so let's see the output so let's give a run to the uh, client you can see here output goes like this in case of student s equal to new student it is calling the parent method for rest other two uh, instance where you have initialized the child class and assigned it to the parent one and uh, in third scenario where you have initialized the child class in both the scenarios it is calling the child method so this is method overwriting so if i just remove this override keyword and use new keyword so this will be termed as method hiding if i give you the same scenario now what will be the output when you use new that is method hiding student s equal to new student it will be called in the parent method even in the second scenario where you have initialized the child class it will still call the parent method but only the child class it student i equal to new it student only in this scenario it will be calling the child method so always keep in your mind what will be the output in terms of uh, in case of uh, method overriding and in case of method hiding so this is about the polymorphism guys so just to summarize the different pillars of object oriented programming are encapsulation inheritance abstraction and polymorphism so i will highly recommend you to watch all these four uh, video series in order to understand object oriented programming pillars